They brought, they brought s some professional interviewers, they call them, from uh, Atlanta, and they just kept trying. They didn't get a 100% uh, response at all, particularly in the black community. Mm. Whereas our interviewers who went on the, what we call the social opportunity survey, which was a subsample of the main survey, they did very well. They were graduate students, and they were <laughs> they went. They got these description. One of the things they had to do was give a description of the place, and they said, "Well, once you'd uh, got rid of all the cockroaches crawling <laughs> all over the place and the children creeping all over the floor and so on, then you went on to do this." Yeah, you know, they were really difficult interviewing conditions. Uh, really difficult. Mm. But I think. Uh, Graduate students are more motivated to do it than professional interviewers who are used to doing other kinds of things, you know, and not. And I think a lot of them made up the answers rather. Do you? Than, yeah. Did you? Do you? I mean, do you have any certainty? I don't that? have any certainty. Yeah, of it, what no. made you suspect that? I don't know. You. I've had a lot of experience of people making up answers, especially to uh, government surveys, for example, uh, agricultural surveys in the tropics. Uh, I'm sure the, the uh, interviewers sit down and uh, fill in the blanks, you know, rather than go through the tedium. The same with the census. I'm sure a lot, a lot of the census people who do follow-up studies, the census here is done by postal uh, things. I mean, they employ people to follow up. I sent in our census returns very quickly, and I had at least three people come and try to do follow up. And I told them I sent it in, give them the date, and so forth. But a lot of the census people who have to work in, uh, in, in bad areas, they either get a neighbor to give them. Uh, information. I, I just don't trust them. Mm. Well, getting a neighbor so it would be better than not getting any answers at all, presumably. Yeah. Well, uh, they have to have a little something to go on. You know, mm. they, do have, they do have a vague idea of what it is, uh, because otherwise they wouldn't, they wouldn't be in the frame mm. for, the, uh, for the survey. But, uh, but they skip a lot of stuff. You know, if, if you ask, for example, one of the things that we asked on, on that survey was uh, history of unions. Now, that's very difficult to get, you know, to get people to sit down and give you a, a complete history of every sexual liaison they have had mm. over time, especially if they're about 40. Uh, I think so. It's difficult, <laughs> and I'm sure that the, the results are not reliable. <laughs>